Well, hi guys, welcome back um, to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Rocky V3 hide from Tragapan um, in the new autumnal colour. Um, before I start, I'd just like to say that I am an ambassador for Tragapan and uh, they do give me these hides to actually do reviews on, um, but they also liked me to be as, as truthful as possible really um, ab about the hide and if there's anything there that I don't particularly like then I will obviously declare that as we go along. So yeah, this is a, a low level ground hide, really ideal for getting that intimate low aspect shot of your subject. So really, really streamlined, really, really low design. Um, you can't sit or stand up in it. Um, it's a lie down hide. You can use a bean bag or a uh, tripod support for it. But yeah, it's an absolutely cracking little hide. And today we're gonna go into an in-depth review on this. Right guys, now we're gonna go into the, um, the actual pack contents. So it's in a nice bag. Okay, first of all we got is the main body of the hide. There we got the main roof canopy, which we'll go into later. Got the actual poles, lightweight poles and some pegs. We've also got three of these window lens sleeves. Three of those. And then we've got a larger mesh sleeve there for popping your telephoto lens through. And then we've got the same thing, but obviously a waterproof design there in case it's raining. So that's for the additional one. That can be fitted on end to any of the three windows. And inside there, we've got a user guide on how to uh, set the hide up um, with a few do's and don'ts on there. So quite self-explanatory. And there we have, that's the contents of the Hockey V3. So we'll quickly go into the first impression of the high, just undone the clip there. We open it out. There's the main mechanism. I'm looking at it straight away, to be honest. I mean, this hide is absolutely superb quality. Everything is double stitched on this. Um, the seams as well, they're absolutely superb. The zips themselves, the functionality, the way they are, and the fabric itself is so durable, totally waterproof, and it really does sort of speak quality there. This is a PU isotherm fabric here, which is designed to keep the heat in in winter and obviously to reflect um, the heat in the summer so you don't overheat inside the, uh, inside the hide, but they really are built to last these things. Okay, here we are now about to set up the hide. This is the unique deployment system that Tragapan have adopted. It's absolutely superb mechanism on it. It's really, really simple. Just push straight down and it locks open. There we go. And that's the main body of the hide then set up, ready to go. I'm down at a perfect location for the, uh, the Hockey V3 on a nice friend's lake here today. Beautiful weather. And this is what you kind of want to do with, with the Hockey V3 really, is to have it in its position here. Nice low level aspect to the waterline. Obviously a lot of the waterfowl coming in bird species. Now what we're going to do is whack some tent pegs in, bearing in mind that the tent pegs themselves, obviously in a day like today you really don't need that many. Just pop a couple in at the front, a couple in at the back. Doing like this at the back here, just with the two pegs, pull it nice and taut, get those pegs in, ideal position there. So all we need to do then, built in integral um, tent pole as I said in there, just pull that back fairly tight and then just secure that there and that gives it a nice bit of rigidity there and there's also a mesh, mesh in there as well to let some air through. Okay, this is the roof canopy here. Central point there. You've got clips down the side. This then stops any water ingress getting in through the top. Make sure it's quite nice and central there as you clip it up on the corners. Don't tighten up until you've, until you've finished, then you can just tidy it up from there. There's four clips. Oh, 
we go. Make sure it's nice and even all the way around. Just make sure that apex is central. There we have it. Roof canopy on, nice and central, and then you can just tidy it up on the corners. Okay, there we have it. I've just gone around and just tidied that up. Just make it nice and central, quite even each side, making sure that these supports down each side here on these veins are covering over the, uh, the actual tent poles themselves. So now we're going to the main support through the main body of the, uh, of the hide. It's got a little bag here with the poles in. This is just to give it that bit more rigidity as well. So out come the poles. That's just a little bit of a portion of fabric there that you can take that off and put that on afterwards. And all you do there is you slide that through the middle portion. like so, that gives that that support, just clips in the bottom, over this side as well, so clipping that nicely in there and you've got this little sleeve you can put over the top there, it just sits on there like that, so that's given that hide some more rigidity there as well. So additionally here at the front, this is the very front of the hockey hide and there's obviously the entrance there. We've got this portion here that's basically additional there for, and that's integral to the actual hide itself. Um, and that can be stowed away, but this is, allows you then just to have a bit of a rain cover deflected if your lens is poking out there. And that just quite easily feeds through. There's a little ridge line here with a sleeve on it. Just pop that through, goes into the side there. Feeds into there, and that's basically that. And these can be adjusted, these little sliders here, accordingly. Just so you've got that added bit more stability and you can lift that up a little bit. It's also that's for the lens sleeve there, and if you don't need that, you just pull that tight, zip it up, and stow that away. And that just allows you then to have your lens poking out and the rain then just runs off. So whilst we're here also, before we go inside, we've got these uh, viewing ports here. You can use these to poke your lens through, your binoculars. If you don't need them, just pull it tight, put it up, and then you're back inside there. Now you've got some clips inside here which fasten the inside, which then keep this fully taut down, and then you can pop your lens out there and obviously keeps the weather and rain off. Um, and that's the same on the other side. So it's worth just mentioning that the additional support at the front window, you can actually fit these to the sides as well but you haven't got three of these, you've just got the one. So you have to decide which window you're going to use um, to have this additional um, support then to keep the rain off and stuff like that. And that's quite straightforward. That just slides in there, goes along, goes into the portion at the side. Same with this side. And you've got two clips that you've got on the front and you just pop those clips on, gives that some support and then you've got that window there. And that can all be done, quite importantly. Um, it's not too much of an issue because you can do all this from the inside without actually having to get out the hide, then flushing your subjects. And it is quite straightforward and it doesn't take very long at all. So just bear in mind that you can use these additional supports here with these um, poles on that side, this side, and on obviously on the front. So this is the current view from the front here. So this is the portion down through inside. As you can see there, there's absolutely stacks of room there. You've got ventilation at the far end and there's loads of room, even for the biggest of people. And you can also stow gear down there at the bottom end to the left and right hand side. It's quite deceiving when you look at the hide itself from the outside, but when you look inside, there is lots of room. And that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go inside and have a look at some of the features inside the uh, Hockey V3. Okay, so here we are, hide's fully erected now. Everything's in place. And now how do we actually get in? Well, you've got a little over flap just down here. And underneath there, you've got a zip. Open that up. Open it up under there. And this just exposes the inside of the hide. And there we have it. A great view there 
inside the hide and that's down the back end. As you can see there, there's plenty of light in here actually, which is, which is great. So there's lots and lots of room, certainly for your legs and some of your equipment. And now what we'll do is we'll get inside, have a good look and uh, get some of the lens viewing port set up from the sides. So now we're set up, it's time to get in the hide. So as I said before, the, the material it's made of is isotherm PU, which is a, a coated fabric. And you know, that keeps the, uh, the warmth in and it reflects the heat from the outside. So it works well in both um, summer and winter. Um, there is, as I say, stacks of room. You have got room to move your head around a little bit. And there's stacks of room from side to side. And if you really wanted to bring some along, Effectively, you could, in theory, have someone next to you, but I wouldn't like to do that too much, close proximity like that, but it really is a great hide. And also, what you do... It's quite deceiving. I've just zipped that right up. I've got both side windows shut and the front windows open, and the light in here is pretty good. Um, you know, all the way to the end there. Loads and loads of room. Great hide for getting that low-level um, shots of waterfowl, kingfisher, some mammal species, you know, it really is great. I did a review before on the uh, Dragapan V6, which will come up above if you fancy checking that one out. A great hide, um, good for a seated position, lots of viewing um, ports around, lots of windows, lots of additional room awnings, etc. It really is a very versatile hide. Um, you know, effectively you could use the V6 like this one because you have got lower portions you can use um, poking your lens through. But uh, if you really want to do purely low level stuff, for bird species like this on this lake or other mammal species, it really is the, the, uh, the Hockey V3. It's got to be worth a look at because it is absolutely superb. You know, this, as I said before, was designed by photographers for photographers. And uh, it's certainly tried and tested uh, in the previous model with the previous colour. And um, yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely and snug here. I've got, a, I've got a inflatable ground sheet outside, which I would use inside. I've got two of those. So I put these on, on the deck here and have that little bit more of a, a thermal barrier as well to keep yourself warm and just for that um, bit more comfortable because if you've got this hide on undulating ground or stony ground or whatever, you know, it can be quite uncomfortable. So it would bear in mind long periods of time inside this hide, it would be advisable to have some sort of ground sheeting um, and you know, additional sort of cushioning there or even use your coat and stuff like that. But it's already, it's a beautiful day and it's, it's quite warm in here, but it's not uncomfortable. Um, and you know it really is very pleasant. No light can penetrate through this fabric from the outside. So you're moving around inside this um, this hide. You know nothing's going to pick up your shape from the outside. Obviously you've got the windows open. That's a different ball game. But uh, from the moment moving around inside here, nothing's going to see your silhouette. You know, and I've actually tried this um, hide as well in in the pitch dark. Closed everything down and put a light on inside here and it's superb you know it really is you, nothing will pick you up so uh, they have really thought of everything and it's it's very snug um, i'm certainly very much looking forward to to using this again this spring it's one of those things that i really aim to do a lot more of especially with my badger work and stuff like that getting that low aspect stuff so you know it's uh, it's certainly going to be used a great deal and i think this will be a great asset for me this is the view from the front of the hide now absolutely fantastic really um, this this outlook and you know you've got quite a nice field of view here each side um, that you can train your lens around you can have a um, a beanbag support in here you can have your tripod as well and you can poke the legs out the windows which is really really good um, obviously when you have to have that tripod extremely low down um, but here we are the, uh, the main portion of the window now as I said before that these supports either side you don't have to have this on you can remove this you can pull this back with these pull cords at the side here there's some little pull cords you just unattach it take the pole out pull this tight and then that comes in and in fact we'll um, we'll do that now just to show you So all we do now is got some pull cords on the side here. That window's been unattached. And all we do then is just pull this nice and tight. You've got a toggle each side there. 
just toggle that through nice and tight there we go fasten that up there fasten that nice and tight there and we can stow all that away there and we can just stow that away like that so you've got this whole area free and obviously you can just fake these down and just tie them up in the corners and now what we'll do is we'll um we'll put the additional sleeves on inside now um just to give you that added bit of you know protection and camouflage from the outside okay now we're inside at the main front window and we've got this additional sleeve you can put on just clips in quite male and female connector there in the corners clips there clips there clip down in the far corner so you've got six clips in all and you can leave these permanently fitted to the hide itself and there you have a nice mesh cover at the front stick your lens through there and you've got a little pull cord there with a toggle on it pull it tight job done so your lens can poke out through there and that's if you need it if you've got a larger telephoto lens that's sticking out and obviously bear in mind with the weather conditions you can have that additional front roof fitted as well and also you've got one of these other sleeves which i showed you at the beginning which is a waterproof sleeve as well so it hasn't got the mesh system on it but you've got a, a waterproof covering to keep your lens completely dry and these can be used on either side of the windows um, so it's all integral and interchangeable so uh, yeah really really good so now we're going to fit the additional side sleeves which as i said before can be left on permanently inside the hide when you fold it away and these clips are brilliant these male and female clips and you can see that um, just about there just but they're really really good so easy one finger motion to clip straight in one finger to take them off really really good so as you do it now and it won't work just pop them in in they go clip it on one good thing about this as well especially if you're in cold environments as well is it's nice and easy you don't have to faff around too much with cold hands you know undoing clips and stuff like that which can be a bit of a pain um, but I probably leave these permanently fitted to mine um, just because I kind of they don't really get in the way and uh, got a further clip there just to clip that down okay there we go and there you have it your little sleeve there for popping your lens through and for for obviously additional viewing and stuff and you can just drop these back down again um, just simple pull the cord through pull the cord through pull that down and you've got an inner portion of the, and you just then um, just clip those on there um, when you haven't got this in place but they're absolutely ideal really really good really really good bit of kit and that's the same on the other side and just stow these away just curl them up fake them and then just attach them there or just get some bits of velcro on there and just loop them up if you need to but that's the uh, side portion um, for your import mm. So just going to show you from here, um, just this is a Canon 100-400 zoom lens and just pop that through there, open it up, pop it through, got a beanbag support, nice and stable and you can just get down low, put a nice bit of cover there, get down low and then you've got that perfect view then to the subject. You can use a tripod in here as long as the, the tripod's able to go very low to the ground and then you're able to then to use your tripod, nice stable tripod, so then you've got that um, area to move then, that fluid motion of the lens, video, etc., stuff like that. So really, really good idea. But, you know, nine times out of 10, if you're just doing stills, great to get in there with a beanbag, quite maneuverable, and then uh, get your shots from there. But yeah, really, really good. So one really good thing about the uh, Hockey, Hockey V3 is its weight. It's 2.65 kilograms. Now my Tragopan V6 was 3.2. Um, there's loads of room in here. Um, I've put my small tripod in there. I've put a jacket in there. Um, I've put some other items in there as well. And that could be cinched down even more. Get all that air out, get some 
compression straps on there, lash that down, that can go on the base of your backpack, camera bag, whatever, along with your roll mat, ideal, and a great hide in a small package. One thing I will say guys as well before we finish is that the hide today is obviously the sunlight is beaming right down clear skies and there's quite a bit of shine to it at the minute because we are right in the sun, hence the side of my face. Um, but you can actually get um, nets to cover over the hides as well if you're in different environmental conditions, Arctic, um, you've got other khaki colours, you know, check out their website there and um, you'll be able to get some different um, nets to throw over the hides and that caters for all the hides they've got. Um, so just, just check that out. If you do decide to, um, to invest in one of these hides or any of their other products, as an ambassador, I can get you 5% off um, products on checkout. So just put in the code below on checkout and you'll get that, uh, get that discount. And that's available worldwide apart from US and Canada. It is fantastic for what it's uh, designed for. Um, this is the, the new standard pattern now for all Tragopan hides, the ones that haven't been done with this this design yet will be very soon that pretty much concludes my uh, review today of the uh, hockey v3 ground hide um, i hope you found it informative if you have got any questions that you want to ask me please do so in the comments below or if not through my uh, email address uh, website facebook instagram or twitter if i can't answer them for you then i'll get in touch with the main point of contact in the uk or the main man himself and I'll um, get back to you that way. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys, as always, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>